Are you serious? Calm down and get some coffee. But I'm going to read something that's very, very, very interesting. Breaking Israeli news has just come out with an article entitled, The Time Has Come for God to Reveal the Messiah, says the Jerusalem Chief Rabbi. Now, this rabbi, his name is Rabbi Shalomo Amar. And he has issued a ruling. He did it on Monday, November the 9th, 2015, the night of the broken glass, the same day that Benjamin Netanyahu was in Washington meeting with President Obama. He, he, he gave a ruling that God must bring the Messiah and expedite, or expedite the ultimate redemption. Now, there were 6,000 rabbis that gathered. They, first, there was a conference in Brooklyn, New York. Then later, uh, they gathered 6,000 rabbis, and one of the rabbis reminded Rabbi Am- Amar that 25 years ago, it was prophesied to him from Rabbi Sh- uh, Shanirson that he, that, that the head of their organization, should reveal the ruling to God, all right? A ruling to God. Now, 25 years later, it's exactly what Rabbi Amar did. But here's what he did. In the presence of dozens of colleagues and holding the hands of the two men sitting closest to him, Rabbi Amar pronounced, quote, We hereby rule according to the demand of the audience. We see the plaintiff, but we can't see the defendant, talking about God, that God Almighty speedily bring an end and reveal the Messiah in front of our eyes in actuality. Now, despite the the late hour it was and this statement was greeted with a hearty amen from the crowd, Immediately after the crowd began singing, we want Messiah now, we don't want to wait. We want Messiah now, we don't want to wait. Now, we all know, uh, us as Christians know, that God did have to blind the eyes of the Jews so that the fullness of the Gentiles could come in. Jesus Christ had to die on the cross. It was his mission to, and, and he being innocent, would give his life as an ultimate sacrifice to redeem fallen humanity. And as Christians, we realize that Jesus Christ, Yeshua, is the Lamb of God, that he is the Son of God. And that that sacrifice, that revelation, that redemption flows because of his sacrifice on the cross. And then he defeated the devil as he rose from the dead and conquered death, hell, and the grave. Now, the, uh, many of the Orthodox Jews, which is what we're talking about here, and I'll give you a picture here. Many of the Orthodox Jews, of course, do not recognize Jesus Christ as the Messiah. They do recognize Jesus Christ as a mighty prophet, but not as the Messiah. But now I've been in Israel, and uh, each time I go, the numbers of Messianic Jews continue to increase. In other words, God is revealing to the people there that Jesus Christ is the Messiah. About 10%, at least, of Israeli Jews now believe that Jesus is the Messiah. They're called Messianic Jews. And many others don't say publicly that he is, but their, but their conversation leads you to know that they truly believe it. But of course, they're afraid they might lose their citizenship rights and be accused of uh, proselyting other Jews. So they're, they're silent about it. But I can tell you that many of them do believe. Many. So let's talk about this. So this man makes this prayer. First of all, you don't order God to do anything. Okay, You don't command God to do anything. God commands us to do stuff. Um, but I think what he's saying here is that they desperately want an answer. And here's the problem. Their eyes will open. Their eyes are opening already. Remember Rabbi Kaduri. It's one of my most popular videos I ever did. You can check it on, on the popular video line. Rabbi Kaduri 
was 108 years old when he said in a dream, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, came to him and said, Rabbi, I am the Messiah. Tell the others. And then gave him a prophecy that after the death of Ariel Sharon, that the Messiah would be revealed to Israel. Now, he wrote the prophecy down. He met with three rabbis and told them his dream. They, they wrote the prophecy down and sealed it in an envelope. He felt led that on the one-year anniversary of his death, they were to read the uh, prophecy to all the rabbis. And they did exactly that. And they read it. They opened up and they read it. And many of the rabbis began to weep and to fall on their knees, believing truly that Jesus Christ is the Messiah. But uh, that percentage was, you know, I don't know the exact percentage, but it was, it was a lot lower than those who didn't. Now, that means it's, he's being revealed. Jesus is being revealed. Remember something. The early church was filled with Jews. The, all the apostles were Jews. And Jesus Christ came, from, you know, came through the lineage of King David, obviously Jewish in the flesh, but God divine. So this eye-opening of the end times is upon us. And I think what some of these rabbis are not understanding is that when they say this, they're, I don't, they're, this could be up to them. Will they accept it when he's revealed to them? I mean, you, you, can't, you can't say, show me, Lord. And when the Lord shows you, if you don't like what he shows you, you can't say, I just don't want to deal with that. But many people do that in their life. And I'm talking to Christians now. Many Christians pray for something and God gives them the answer. They, it wasn't the answer they were praying for. It wasn't the exact answer. It wasn't what they wanted. A lot of times people go around saying, this is what I'm going to do. Now, God, come, you come down here and you bless this. God don't operate that way. You don't command God to do anything. He commands us and he calls us and he loves us. I'm not criticizing this rabbi. I, I'm, I'm just thankful that these rabbis are seeking the Messiah with all their heart. And you can know this, that the grace of God, which bringeth salvation, hath appeared unto all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness of worldly lust, we should live righteously, soberly, and godly in this present world. For the Lord is not slack concerning his promises, as some men count slackness, but he's long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the resurrection and the life. What I'm seeing is the Kaduri revival, they say, is spreading as many, many Jews are coming to the knowledge of Jesus Christ. And in the process of time, many, many of the rabbis will begin to accept Christ as their Savior. Many of them have. And so Jesus Christ is being revealed. So I think whenever a rabbi does this, we need an answer. Believe me, you're going to get the answer. And then the question is, what are you going to do with it? Well, now, now that's just among the Jewish people. Among Gentiles and different cultures, it's totally different. Uh, the same thing is being done. People reject Jesus and they go worship pagan gods. And they, and they go to false religions. And they pray to uh, idol gods that cannot move, cannot make a sound. They're not even seeking the right God. All right? And, uh, but Jesus Christ still loves everybody, and he will still come before a Buddhist and show himself to be the Messiah. He will come and visit the Hindu and show them that Jesus is the way. He will come to the Muslim and say, no, Jesus is the Son of God, and show them the way. This is the love of God, folks. This is the love. You cannot sit there and hate on anybody. You can't hate on people and then say you love the Lord. You have to love everybody. And really, it's not hard because when you're filled with God, you're filled with love because God is love. And then they're born of God or born of love. I mean, it's just real simple. So are you saved? If you want that heart in you to be clean, if you don't want any hatred, you don't want to hold any guilt, you don't want to hold any grudges, you're not, you're not seeking revenge. If you want to be you want to have peace, then you have to surrender it all to Jesus Christ. Don't miss today's live broadcast. It's going to be powerful, 12 noon Eastern. Now, I want the Messiah to come also. Hurry, Lord Jesus, come quickly. And Jesus said, Behold, I come quickly. In an hour you think not, the Son of Man cometh.